After FedEx claiming they made two delivery attempts, Laura decided to go pick up the wheels herself. So how does it feel to save the day? I mean, I do that every day. <laughs> I've been talking about this for the longest time. I've been wanting to change up the wheels setup on this car for a while. Ever since I got rid of my welds, I have been wanting another drag setup because I just miss it. Drag setups on the GT500, well, any Mustangs, they just look amazing. So the fiasco of the old wheel setup that I had ordered before, which, you know, the facility, you guys saw that in the last video, the facility burnt down. So then I went from the Kaiser wheels, Kaiser, however you say that, to Bellic Industries. So we got a set of these wheels. They're fully complete custom wheels. What was cool thing about them is they were sending me videos and pictures as these wheels were being made. Not only that, also stands out about Bellic. When you order a set of their wheels, you can do full custom. You could powder coat the barrel, the center, beadlock. You could do everything like a different color. I'm assuming this box is the fronts because both fronts, unless they sent me three wheels. Stickers. We got bracelets. Look at that. Bellic sends you bracelets. That's it. That's it right there. Wow, that thing is so light. Don't touch it, Tom. Just touch this. Oh, damn. Dude. So this is the front. It's a skinny front. I believe it's a four and a half. Look at that. Dude, that's gonna look sweet. Oh, yeah. That's nice. That's light. The tire's definitely gonna be heavier. Is the tire heavier than the wheel? I think the tire is gonna be heavier. I can't wait to see the rears. You gotta save the best for last. Hold up. Hold up. Oh, my God. I haven't shown the people yet. Let me get the paper off. They really package these things good, though. So let me explain to you what we did here. We went with a satin black on the center. On the barrel, we did a gloss black. On the beadlock ring, we went with a satin black, match the inside, just to kind of break it up. They look way better in person. That's definitely probably one of the best looking wheels I've ever seen. It's all ARP hardware. Most of the time with wheel companies, if you get that, that's like an upgrade. And that comes standard on Bellic. More stickers. Look at that little keychain. It's made of wood. More bracelets. Oh, more bracelets. And we got some lug nuts. I feel like they're too nice to mount. They're just so nice. We'll just basically get them on the car, take some pictures, and then take them off. I think that's what we'll do. Hang them in the and bedroom. I was thinking about selling the wheels that I have on my car, but Sean and Tom are saying that I should probably keep them. So if I, you know, when I park the car, I put these on it. When I drive it, I put those ones on it. I don't know. What do you guys think? <laughs> That's not what we were saying. <laughs> what does Logan think of these wheels? They're awesome. Awesome? Yeah, I'm on dad duty right now, aren't we? Yep, we're good. We're good. Cool. Fist bump. All right. She's still learning. We're picking this video back up a week later after receiving the wheels because we had to order a bunch of stuff. We got these little uh, wheel tampons. You'll see what we use those for later. I pretty much just ordered a bunch of spacers just to see, you know, what we needed because I didn't want to order what I thought I was going to need and then end up having to order another one and wait on it. So I just ordered a bunch tried this out and I'm gonna I did this for you guys so whoever decides to go with a set of these wheels on their car they'll already know the size spacer that I'm using and you won't have to do this so I did the hard part for you and spent uh, I guess a bunch of money on the spacers I'll put a link in the description for what we end up using in this video so these wheels had to clear the Brembos and I was already aware that I was gonna need spacers anyway we're gonna need these extended ARP lugs or studs I keep calling them lugs but they're studs and the part number is right there and keep in mind if you guys order these there is actually a different style or set for the front and rear so just make sure you get the front ones for the front and the rear ones for the rear if you need them once we go to installing the wheels i will let you guys know which spacer we end up going with they are called lugs by the way are they, are they called lugs or studs i mean they're called lugs right because then you put lug nuts on you them. put lug nuts 
Or are they called studs? On lug studs. Lug studs? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. What do you call them? So first thing we're gonna do, front tire on the front rim. They're so light. So now you guys are gonna see what the wheel tampons are for. Mount them there. It'll be all right. Look at that. No damage on the wheel. Rotational, I think they go that way. Rotational. Right, rotational. They go, what? what is it, Sean? One direction? One direction. Like That's your favorite Sean, band. My favorite band. When he was singing That's that to that all band. the ladies. I work out too. If you <laughs> notice, I don't work out. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I knew one of their songs because I would start singing it. What, what is one of their songs, Sean? No. <laughs> he actually named off seven of them, but I had to edit it out of here to keep the video short. <laughs> Woo! There we go. In there like swimwear. We good. Out uh, with the old and with the new. So anyone that's not ever seen how to install a bead lock. So you, you're about to learn something from me and then anybody that has installed beadlock is gonna comment below and tell me everything I did wrong. The cool thing about mounting rear beadlocks is if you don't have a tire machine, you're still good. You don't need a tire machine to do I it. I wanna see this. Man, that thing looks so awesome. Look how pretty that looks. Man, that, that is probably one of the best looking wheels I've seen. The satin with the gloss and the satin. Yeah. This really makes makes it pop. So we are using the tire machine. <laughs> Tom, you want to hold the back side of the wheel? Yeah. Hold the wheel down. Whoa, hey. <laughs> it just falls in. Here we go. So what we want to do is push that down. Get it in that groove. Put lube on there, just, you know, if you don't have lube, I guess I've seen people just use soapy water. Windex, just set that on there. And then, just kinda do them by hand. Get them all in by hand. And that's it. Good. 20 foot pounds, and let's put Three it hours later. An air tour. No pop. No pop. I'm only gonna put like 20 pounds in there. Let me move this. We are going with a one inch spacer. It seems massive and pretty dramatic but that's pretty much gonna be the only way that we're gonna be able to put those wheels on and also clear the brake. Let's see, and these are universal. So we got our extended studs ARP, and keep in mind if you go to ordering these, that is the part number for the front. Mom, I'm trying to work on my car. Gosh. It pretty much has given us another inch. Show you guys a little trick. And then you just put the wheel on and it will automatically do what it needs to do once you put the wheel on and tighten everything down. It's going to be loose at first like that, but once you bolt a wheel on there, it's going to be good. Trust me. Just kidding. Just <laughs> kidding. All right. All right. So let me show you. There's this special tool that you can actually get. You get it off of Amazon. I think it's like 10 bucks maybe. It's got like a bearing in there and then it's got the little acorn shape for a lug nut. It's a spacer. And then put that in there like that. Screw it in there. And then there you go, your new stud is installed. That's a lifesaver. Like once it's flat. That was actually super fast. <laughs> and 
you pretty much just repeat this on the other side. After test fitting the rear, we are gonna need to run a small spacer on the rear. The spacer that we're going with on the rear, it is a five millimeter spacer. I'm not sure if you guys can. On the rear, we are gonna have to run a spacer just a small spacer, the spacer that we are going with. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it is a five millimeter spacer, so it's not gonna be that much. So I did all the hard work for you guys. Every size possible spacer. The bright caliper right in here does come really close to the inside of the back of the wheel. So that's the reason why we have to run this. I could have probably got away with a three millimeter spacer, but it's like, I mean, it is so close, you could probably just maybe fit a small tiny piece of cardboard between it. And if a rock or a pebble got caught in between there, I don't want to risk it. So we're going to play it safe. We're going to go with 5mm spacer. Where that lip kind of curves is where the brake was touching. These lug nuts are not like the easiest to put on. Let's get them mounted up. All we got to do, you want to cue the glamour shots for everybody? Transition them, bud. Say I'm up now, I'm up now 20,000 on a bus down, a bus down I'm on my way, I'm going up now, up now And I ain't never gonna touch down, touch down Question is, do those wheels do the GT500 justice? My opinion, out of all the different wheel combinations I've had on this car, this setup is by far the best, hands down. But that's in my opinion. I don't know, what do you guys think? I may be a little bit biased by saying this, but I think these are probably the best looking wheels I have seen on a Mustang. Some of you guys may disagree, especially how I did the rears with the two different, like the satin black with the gloss black, the, the little two-tone. I think that just set it off and then also doing the bead lock and then of course wrapped in these mickey thompson tires and i hope this video helps anybody that is looking at doing this wheel and tire setup by basically telling you guys what to expect because when i uh spoke with the guys with bellic industries they said that they had not done these on a gt500 yet so this is the first gt500 that has this particular wheel set up i had to run a five millimeter spacer in the rear a one inch spacer up front with extended ARP studs. And with running that one inch spacer with the extended lugs, I mean, you look at that, they do, that sits perfect. So my opinion is if these were one inch further, it, it wouldn't look right. I mean, I think with that one inch spacer it actually set the wheel right where it needs to be. You look down the side of the car, that is perfect. I was worried that the wheel was gonna stick out a little bit. And then if you look at the rear with the five millimeter spacer, it looks good. In my opinion, I mean, that that's perfect. That's perfect. I highly suggest if you go with Bellic, definitely get their lug nuts. So I got lug nuts through them and they're actually designed for these wheels. Yeah, I was just so excited. I haven't even cleaned them up. I haven't even put any tire dressing on the tires yet. I haven't done any of that, but this is definitely, definitely has improved the look of this car. I really, really wanted my RTSs back and I regretted getting rid of them. But now that I got these, I don't regret them at all. I was gonna go with the Kieser Kaiser wheels, however you say it, but their facility burnt down. And then I got Bellic Industries, a lot more expensive. <laughs> the quality of these wheels, it definitely, definitely shows why they cost as much as they do, especially with all the ARP hardware that comes with them. And with the other wheels, if you want all the ARP stuff, you pretty much have to pay extra for them. That's just standard with Bellic. The best part about them is, their turnaround time frame is about three weeks, two to three weeks. The other place was like eight weeks, and I got these things super fast. I also powder coated them. If you don't get them powder coated and you get them standard, it is quicker. The fronts, the, these are pretty much how they come. We didn't do anything custom with the front. The fronts, that's how they come. So they do have that polished on the inside of the spokes, which I thought that that would kind of set off having all of the hardware on the rear so it kind of helps man these things look so good they're mean looking definitely makes this car look badass you want to start this thing up lena you want to start this thing up 
Mm -hmm. dude, thing is sexy. What's up, dude? What do you think? I love it. It changed the whole look of this car. It's back. It, yeah, it's back. It's back. Yeah. Because before, with the street setup, it did. I mean, the car looked good. It looked like a GT5. It just didn't have that mean look that, that it is. That wasn't JD. Yes. That wasn't JD. That and you JD. know, yeah, you know me. I love the drag setup. Yeah. What do you think of the new wheels, man? Huh? I told you you needed some. See? Grandma it's knows. Sick. <laughs> they are. Dude, this, it's a different car. Yeah. Are it's these not, wheels not... as big as the ones you had? No, they're smaller. I thought so. Yeah. I wonder why that bumper was down so low. What do you think about it? See, I'll tell you about that in the two years. Say, Mama's inside making us dinner. You and I are out here hanging out, making videos, and taking pictures of the car. What are you doing? Mm -hmm. A little chilly. Mm -hmm. You gonna drive? All right, Lena, you ready? You ready to start this thing up? Here. Ooh. <laughs> what is that? You got a heavy foot. What is that? What is that? Give her more love, Lena. What do you think, Lena? Give her love, Lena. She don't know what to do. That's horsepower she's right taking, there. Yeah, she's just taking it all in. Is that cool? Is that cool? Let's see, this is how you make them stop. See that? It works. It works. She, she wants to keep moving. What are you doing, babe? Making a pack. Why is our garage such a mess, huh? It's not because you haven't cleaned it, it's because it's not big enough. Why you gotta give me such a hard time? That's what you said. We've literally outgrown the garage. There's just so much junk in here. I'm calling it junk. Your mom would get so upset with me calling it junk. Yeah. What do you, what do you think of the wheels? How much? Like this much. Okay. I'm trying to get Laura back into this video stuff because lately she's not really been wanting to do like the YouTube I'm thing. I'm just busy all the time. Yeah, well three kids, is, it's kind of hard. And if you notice that I haven't been putting out as many videos either, we both have just been like super busy too. So, and then we've got- That's never gonna change, you've been saying that for like two years. What? That we're busy. We are busy, like so much stuff going on between like working a regular job, three kids, and then now we're gonna try, I, I keep saying we're gonna renovate the RV. I keep saying that we're gonna build this garage, but finally we are gonna build the garage. We're gonna go ahead, wrap this video up, but I'm gonna put Laura on the spot just for a second. Give him the wheel specs because I don't think I said it in the video. Uh, Let's see how good she is. I did tell her early, I have told you the wheel specs. Yeah. I'm gonna see if she remembers. The fronts are 17 by four and a half. And the backs are 15 by 10, with seven and seven and a quarter inch back spacing. Yep, I'm impressed. All right, go ahead, wrap it up. Tell them bye. We're gonna wrap this video up. See you in the next video. Peace. Subscribe, like, all that fun stuff. Tell them. What he said. Yep.